Hello, I'm Chris Riddell. I'm an illustrator. And I'm Paul Stewart, and I'm a writer. We've written books like The Edge Chronicles, The Far Flung Adventures, Barnaby Grimes, and they're all stories with illustrations. One of our favourite things to do is start with a map. You have to have a setting for a story, but we like to do fantasies, and so Chris will sometimes draw me a map that is the setting for a new world. We started with the Edge Chronicles with the edge of a huge cliff and above it was a great floating city. It started off in his uh, sketchbook and uh, he gave it to me and he said, Paul, this is the world, what happens in it? And for, as a writer, it, it, it's amazing to be given a whole setting that you can then explore. The other nice thing I liked is Paul started to write the story and I didn't like it at all. So I said, can you do it again? Um, and the brilliant thing is, Paul said, yes, all right then. I wanted uh, this world to have strange, uh, really interesting to draw creatures in it. One of the very first um, characters that I took out of his sketchbook was this huge creature, three metres tall, with big tusks and big claws. And I thought, well, it's going to be really boring if I make this huge creature big and fierce, because it looks big and fierce. So I made it a bit sensitive, a bit gentle. It's really nice in when you're telling a story to actually have illustrations that go along with the story. What I'm always careful of when I'm dealing with uh, the words is not to show in the pictures exactly what is happening in the story. What I like to do is concentrate on the, on the setting, making sure that you know where the character is, uh, what the character's wearing, but not to show something that the words are going to tell you. Once you've got your character, of course, you have to give it a name. We take our names from all sorts of places. Uh, we ransacked the Old Testament of the Bible for one book and came up with some beautiful names like Esau and Solomon and Bethesda. And then with the creatures, I often like to make the sound of the name reflect the way Chris has drawn it. So, for instance, there's a dagger slash, which I think you can imagine is a a sort of sharp object. I use the words that Paul gives to characters um, to fuel my imagination. There was a prowl grin and uh, I'd imagined it like a big tiger but Chris took the two bits, the prowl and the grin, and drew a picture of a creature with huge back legs that would prowl through the forest and it, this enormous mouth. Exactly, it looked like a giant tree frog at the end which I think was more like the sound of a prowl grin than the uh, than a sort of dog. My advice to anyone who wants to become an illustrator is to keep a sketchbook at all times and make sure you have a pen handy and you can write down interesting names for characters, fantastic settings, and you can draw every day. And my advice, I suppose, is because I love writing stories and I love them looking beautiful, find an illustrator who can draw the things that you want them to draw.